Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I have a bit of a candle and wax melt haul along with some food and uh, makeup, skincare. Uh, now, I'll start with the Village Candle that I uh, bought on Amazon.ca. Uh, village candles here in Canada are few and far between. Uh, they're very difficult to find. I've seen them a few times in um, winter's uh, home scents, um, but few and far between. I think I've tried maybe about three or four different village candles, and I was happy with all of them. I know they can be hit and miss, um, but I've had Pretty good luck with them. So I was on Amazon.ca and I just happened to see some village candles. Uh, the large jars were about, I think it was 28 Canadian, um, but there was one that I saw and I've always wanted to try this one. Uh, I figured, you know, if I did order from uh, the village candle website, even if they were like half price, uh, by the time you put in the exchange rate, um, the shipping, duties, those stupid things would probably cost fifty dollars each or something like that. So I thought I'd just get one anyhow because I've been eyeing this one for quite a while and I just really wanted to try it. And that was the warm buttered bread. And I know Bath and Body Works had was it Pears Baguette um, that uh, bread scented candle that was quite a few years ago and I love that one. I don't know why they don't bring it back. Uh, but this one really uh, smells good. I think these ones are 20, well, these are 26 ounces um, uh, instead of the 22 ounces like uh, Yankee. This, but this does smell like buttered bread, heavy on the butter. It really smells good. So if anyone's tried this, let me know about the throw in that. But yeah, I thought, you know what? Um, I won't order too often because, it, you know, it is pricey, but uh, yeah, I've always really wanted to try that one. And uh, I was in Walmart to get some boring items and uh, I went back to the wax melt section and I picked up a couple that um, I missed the last time. And uh, the first one was Cherry Blooms. I actually did pick up a couple of these because this is the really the prettiest floral. It's just so soothing and so pretty. Mm, if they had a perfume like this, I'd buy a couple. But yeah, I really like that one. Really pretty. And this one I didn't see last time, the Vanilla Bean Butterscotch. And this one is like... um. I can smell the vanilla and I think it's more like a caramel kind of scent. It's almost like toffee. Yeah. Butterscotch, well, yeah, I, I kind of get vanilla toffee. Um, so hopefully that'll be nice and strong. And I did get another Mountain Man. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, I, I still, I still get a lemon scent from this one. A lemon greenery scent. Yeah, that's what I get. Now, when I smelled it again in the store, I picked up a clove scent. <sighs> yeah, a little heavier in the store. I, it's that, I get lemon greenery, but there's a spicy kind of almost like a clove scent with it this time. Uh, anyway, I, I like it. I, I really had to pick up another one. And then this one's an old one. It's still on the shelves, and I actually really do like it. And it's, um, I think this is probably a Canadian exclusive. This is Fall in Love with Tuscany. And this is a very deep, rich scent. It's perfect for the fall and winter. It's very complex. There's a lot going on with this melt. Uh, it's it's a, a deeper, heavier type of scent. Some people may say clone. It is, um, yeah, there's a brightness to it though. It's, um, it's like bergamot. I, I pick it up like a, a greenery scent with bergamot. There's a rich greenery scent, not a bright kind of greenery scent. It's very deep and rich. Maybe it's like kind of like a, a bright bergamot I'm picking up. But yeah, this one's very strong and it does great in a, like a bigger room. 
Um, but yeah, I do have some backups of this and I did want to grab it again just in case it disappeared because yeah, I really like that one. And then food wise, uh, from Cobblestone Kitchens, this is uh, from HomeSense, I think it was. Now a few days ago, I um, baked up my Cobblestone Kitchen. It was a pumpkin harvest muffins and they're really good. They actually had, like chunks of fruit in them. And this is the pumpkin maple scone. And I love a nice warm scone with melted butter on it. All right, and I think that's it for the food. And then, um, yeah, uh, the rest is from Marshall's, Winner's, Home Sense. But the one thing I did pick up at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is kind of equal to a, um, an Alta up here, um, is the Marcel, and this is a Canadian company. Um, Looks like they're starting to bring out these little gift sets for Christmas and that. Um, I've tried the Marcel cleaners before and I really do like them. They're very gentle. This one's a gentle exfoliating cream cleanser. And uh, this one's a hydrating mask. So I'm not sure if this one, hydrating mask, some you can keep like an overnight mask you can keep on or you just put it on for 10 or 15 minutes and, and rinse it off. But they were, um, I think the, the special price was like $19, but they had this on clearance for $10. Um, so $5 each and the Marcel products are a little bit expensive for drugstore. So yeah, that was a really good price. And I, and I really do like their, their products. Their um, eye makeup remover is really, really good. It just sweeps away waterproof mascara. So yeah, I really do like their products. And then, um, This is, this, I think this is Marshalls. They're all Marshalls winners, home sense. But I bought, purchased these, um, something similar to this before, but it was ginger and peppermint. They're really neat packaging. So these are like um, little candies, and they're ginger candies. I love the taste of ginger, especially when they're mixed with different things. And this one is spicy chai ginger, and this one is blood orange ginger and they're very strong like these pack a kick to them um which are, are really good so i really like those and then uh for some facial cleaners i'm um liking these stick products that they have um, for traveling um you're always kind of paranoid that your luggage you know the cleaner will leak everywhere or something so i've been purchasing some of these um uh, stick cleansers and I'm actually really liking them. So this one was a Korean product and I purchased this one before and I did get a second one because it was on clearance and this is called Let's Face It and they were selling it in Marshalls for $7.99 and that's what I purchased it for before. Now they had it on clearance for $4 so I did want to pick up another one. Uh, they did have, um, getting kind of dark this time of night, Purifying Pink Clay, Antioxidant Beetroot, Nourishing Rose Petal Bits, and Uplifting Citrus Oil. And that's what it looks like. So you just uh, um, add water to your face and then just smear this over and then lather it up with your hands. And you can actually see the little rose petal bits in here. And I have tried it once and it did clean pretty good. Um, it struggled a bit with like waterproof mascara and that sort of thing, but um, I kind of use my cleansing oils for that. And then this Cosmetea is a Korean company and I've used their uh, facial cleansers, I've used their mask, and I really like this company. And this is also a cleansing stick. This is more like a cleansing oil, but it's in a, like a stick form. And that's what it looks like. So yeah, it's, it's basically an oil in a stick form. So you just put this on when your skin's dry. Cleansing oils work better that way. And this one is supposed to take off waterproof sunscreen and mascara and that sort of thing. So these are great for traveling. Um, don't have to worry about um, things leaking all over the place. And then this is from the Creme Shop. This is an overnight jelly mask. Now I do have the Creme Shop's Hyaluronic Acid Night Mask. So it's like a gel um, and you just smear it all over your face and neck and you just leave it on overnight and your skin is just so moisturized in the morning. This one is from the same company, the Creme Shop, but it's a limited edition and it's in watermelon. 
So it has all those uh, moisturizing components like hyaluronic acid and glycerin, and it's, uh, it absorbs very nicely. Um, you can see it's like almost like a jello consistency. It does smell like watermelon, but it's very subtle. Like I really have to sniff it to, to smell it. But yeah, I have uh, the hyaluronic acid one and um, yeah, these are just really, really moisturizing, especially in the winter time when your skin gets really dry. Um, that'll be just nice to slather on before you go to bed. And this is a Tony Moly um, face scrub or face mask. Uh, Tony, Tony Moly is a little more on the more expensive side. I think this is about 20 Canadian online and I found it for $7.99. Oh, I'm slipping off my perch here. Um, and I'm getting a hot flash. Oh, thought those things were done. Anyway, uh, this is the black sugar mask. Now the instructions say that you can um, use it as a scrub, put it on and scrub it and then leave it for 10 or 15 minutes. I find physical exfoliants are a little bit hard on the skin. Um, they can leave like little micro tears in your skin. So I usually go for like chemical exfoliants like, you know, uh, glycolic acid or lactic acid or something like that. It's just a little more gentle. Uh, but they said you can put this just on your skin and just wait 10 or 15 minutes without scrubbing it. Um, but that's what it looks like and I I won't say anything. It looks like something I clean up at work, but anyway. Um, it smells like brown sugar, but it's pretty faint, so. And, uh, oh, I bought a, uh, the Rude Cosmetics I had mentioned on my other haul. I bought the these um, lip exfoliators, and I bought this uh, primer oil, and I'm really enjoying them. Um, so. I did get two more of these lip exfoliators. I think they're $5.99. And yeah, I've really, actually, I'm really enjoying these. Uh, so it actually comes, you have to shake it up really well because the first couple of squirts, I was just getting like water. So you have to really shake it up well first. It comes in a pump and you, you put it on your lips and it actually bubbles up. And uh, after about five minutes, it looks like you have rabies and you're frothing at the mouth. But that's, that's how it's supposed to work. And after it's done all bubbling up, you just rub it on. And my lips felt so smooth and moisturized after. I, I really actually enjoyed this product. So yeah, I, I thought I might as well get a couple more. I enjoy it. So, And then, oh, this is the Too Faced. Um, now they have a lot of their unicorn uh, line coming out, which doesn't really interest me too much. Um, but they had this... Um, Fairy Tears Mystical Effects Lip Topper. Very pretty packaging. And that's $7.99. It's probably like $25 online. And actually when I got home, I put it on my lips and it's actually really quite pretty. Um, it's all, it's like a peachy, peachy gold kind of shimmer. And I just put it over, you know, topped it on some lipstick. I just put a very thin layer. And yeah, it looked, actually looked really quite pretty. And um, Lipstick Queen, uh, there was, um, yeah, I didn't know online. This is quite expensive, actually, but this was $7.99 also. And this one really kind of caught my eye because it's, it's like this really pretty, oh, don't focus on my face. Anyway, um, it looked really quite pretty. Uh, and it looks quite dark, but when you swatch it there, it's um, much more sheer, but it's just the prettiest kind of purple, which I thought was uh, really nice for the fall. And then this Lipstick Queen is a uh, pencil form if I can get it out. Oh, this one came with a uh, uh, a little sharpener, which is kind of cool. That was $7.99 also. Now, yeah, I think these are 20 some dollars online. And what's this color called? Apollo. Oh, it's so smooth. Man, that is smooth. It's like a rusty red color, which I just love wearing in the 
in the fall. And then uh, one more lipstick was this Too Faced Color Drenched Lip Cream, and this is in Marshmallow Bunny. I actually keep these Too Faced packages um, and just kind of line them up in my bathroom because I think they're just so pretty. And uh, this one would be nice in the summertime. I don't know if this will pick up or not. It's just a shimmery light pink color. But it just it looks really pretty on the on the lips. And then I got this cargo powder blush and this is in Laguna. And this was Oh, I don't know what the price is. It looks like the price tag came off. It was I don't know, eight dollars. And this sucker, holy moly, if you have really dark skin, this would look absolutely gorgeous on you. Look at this. It is so dark. And I'm just tapping very gently. I'm barely touching the surface. And wow. Whoa. I mean, man, you got to use a light touch. This would actually be nice as like a eyeshadow too. And one more thing. Did I do that one? Yes, I did that one. This is Red Earth. Now, it's a high-end Australian company. Um, but I, I've never heard of it myself. And this was just $4.99 and it's a setting powder. And I, I looked up online, but I can't remember now how much it was. Maybe 20 Canadian, give or take. I just can't quite remember. But the packaging is sort of like that hourglass packaging. And this is an illuminating setting powder. It does come with his own puff. And actually, I do use the puffs because it puts the setting powder on quite nicely. And to open it, you just twist this, which helps it from getting really messy. And uh, this one is actually really, really pretty. It just has a nice glow to it rather than a, a shimmer. Like, there's no little sparkles or anything. But it just gives us beautiful beautiful glow to the skin um, and this color what color did I get oh magician 03 magician so yeah you I mean you get a, a quite a decent amount and yeah it was just 4.99 so I thought that was quite a good deal and so yeah that's it more shopping oh boy um, I really am trying to cut down I really am um, but anyway, oh, that's, what, that's what she always says. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my haul. Uh, yeah, it's a cold, windy night. It was just, oh, it was just a lovely uh, fall evening tonight. So yeah, the cool air is here and it's just so refreshing. I love it. Um, so I hope you enjoy your uh, fall weather. And I, I hope everyone in Florida and Georgia that were affected by the hurricane are, are safe. And uh, yeah, I, I wish you the best. Um, it's a tough, tough situation. Uh, but everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.